Hi there. Today we're diving into a topic that might be a bit surprising or even shocking to many. Let's talk about the places around the world where cats are part of the local diet. Yes, you heard that right, cats. First up, let's journey to Asia, specifically to parts of China and Vietnam. In these countries, cat meat is consumed for various reasons, ranging from traditional medicinal beliefs to simply being considered a delicacy. In southern China, dishes like dragon, tiger, phoenix, snake, cat, chicken are famous, especially during the winter months as it's believed to provide warmth and health benefits. Moving over to Vietnam, cat meat, locally known as thit mio, is served in special dishes. It's not an everyday meal, but it is part of the culinary tradition in some regions. Restaurants specializing in cat meat are quite discreet due to varying opinions about the practice within the country itself. Now let's hop on over to Switzerland, a surprise entry on this list. Yes, in certain remote regions the consumption of cat meat is legal and practiced. It's mainly seen during traditional winter festivals. It might sound unusual but it's a fading practice mostly observed by the older generations. Why do these practices exist you might wonder? Culinary habits are deeply woven into the fabric of cultural history and environment. In many cases, these habits formed out of necessity or from historical practices that have been passed down through generations. While it's easy to judge with modern sensibilities, it's fascinating to see the diversity in global dietary customs. However, it's important to note that the consumption of cats is facing increasing scrutiny and opposition. Animal rights groups and changing social attitudes are challenging these traditions, pushing for change and promoting animal welfare. Before we wrap up, let's reflect on the complexity of cultural dietary practices. What might seem bizarre or unsettling in one culture can be perfectly normal in another. It's a wild, wide world out there with endless surprises. So, next time you're traveling or exploring new cuisines, remember, food is one of the most direct windows into a culture's soul. Who knows what you'll discover? That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to keep an open mind and a curious spirit. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the unusual corners of our fascinating world.